I told this guy to get me something savory, and then he got this, which clearly is a this yogurt. Is, this is definitely going to be some of the best frozen yogurt. Super fruity flavors, well, except for one of them. So the first bottom layer is going to be lychee. The second layer is going to be mango mango. I don't know why there's two mangoes, but there's two mangoes. And the top layer is going to be matcha green tea. We also have some mochi on top. Also, popping bobas in the flavors of strawberry and apple. Popping bobas are gross. Hey you all, my name is Danny Thomas Bang. I'm NYU Tong and today we're going to do, oh my gosh, the typical. <laughs> She doesn't like my introduction. San Francisco thing and have brunch and Danny sucks. Let's get started. So, hello, we're uh, supposedly going to Zazi, which is a French bistro. I've been there once and I thought the food was really good. I got a nice eggs benedict with crab in it. So I thought Danny would like to try it out. Um, I was a little skeptical on how we were gonna get here because I suck at traveling and navigating. And when I got here with my friends, we walked there from the Japanese tea garden. And then this time the direction said, Danny said, that you're yeah. supposed to go to Civic Center. So I'm like, I hope we're going to the same restaurant. But we did arrive to the right one. Zazi is a French bistro where they pay their employees a living wage and lots of benefits and paid time off. So hopefully everything goes well. See, I feel like it's a good sign because we just signed in and over there, there was a 45 minute wait. So I think if there's that many people going, that's probably a good thing. Or it's just one of those millennial hype things. We'll see, we'll see. Obviously not true. If you're gonna spend time coming over here and paying the money, it better have some charm to it. Sir, a bunch of restaurants, I think, and cafe, we passed by one. It just looks so empty. Um, I mean, it is a Sunday at like 9 a.m. And so. it's like everything is closed. But this is like a little shopping district, I think. Right? Just so y'all know, we made it out here to Zazy. Okay, this is residential. Out in Cole and Carl. I think we're going to residential. So we're no, walking up to Zazy. You can, we're across the street and you can hear the lively atmosphere and all the people that's waiting there. We signed up already, but it takes about 45 minutes. Yeah. coffee which has apparently cinnamon and what is it spicy sauce no it's uh, cinnamon and chili cinnamon and chili so Anne says that i should have just got regular coffee no but i did not I since told i'm him. here and then he said mild i didn't say mild <laughs> i thought mild. i thought it was like oh mild hotness or something but anyways all right first first reactions oh there's not even a handle nope it's a bowl oh uh, do i gotta mix this i think you should yeah i gotta mix it I know. I like the Oh, yeah. Okay, how is it? It tastes like coffee. It's like it burns going down your throat. <laughs> I think it's just hot though. Yeah. Alright, last time I got a cappuccino, this time it's a latte. The cappuccino had foam, this one doesn't, so I guess the other one looked prettier. She looks so sad. No! Wait, hold on. Is a spoon there? Okay. And I think this is the mild you were looking for because it's not as bitter as most coffees. Last time when I came here, my coffee bowl was chipped. This time, it's right here. It's also chipped. <laughs> Maybe this is the same bowl. I don't know. All right, so I have the matcha green tea right now. At 
first it reminded me of mint, which is definitely not what it's supposed to taste like, but I can definitely taste the green tea now. So he green picked tea, picked green tea and frozen yogurt not picked, the greatest. Picked incorrectly. Probably not the greatest flavor. To he be was so excited, he came back and said, oh, this is going to be awesome. Okay, the other flavor is going to be awesome. <laughs> Let's see it says if it, if it is as awesome as he said, so let's see. I'm gonna try some of the top. Tastes like probiotics. What was the bottom? Lychee? I think I'm eating a lychee. Yeah, the bottom was lychee, the middle was mango mango. Show the world your face, nobody wants to see your hat. <laughs> ha! Gross! This Popping is a secret. Boba. This is a secret you all, but doesn't know we're not getting her anything safe. Popping Boba is gross. <laughs> she didn't hear me. Standing here skulls. It's a one piece of what are What are these? The blankets? I don't know what they are. Oh, these are body pillows. What the heck? That's weird. So you can hug your favorite, whatever <laughs> that one is. Look at that Pikachu. Cyber Jigglypuff. Easy. Oh, so this this one doesn't have the hat. Mm-hmm. What? I like this cute thing. And it's trying to act now. Like she doesn't care, but she actually truly does. This one's cocky. She loves Doraemons. And this one's space. But what we're gonna look now is these mushrooms. No. <laughs> oh, it's a Goku. Oh, no. His hair looks strange. It doesn't watch Dragon Ball Z, apparently. Yeah. It has kiwi, bananas, and strawberries. What do you think? I just had a piece of cream. Wait. You're supposed to be biting it, you're not supposed to be spooning it, what? I'm so sad. We saw so many cool anime related plushies, and plushies are like my thing, so I was very, very extremely sad that I wasn't able to purchase any of them. Makes me more motivated to go get a good job. <laughs> what happened? It's so hard to eat because there's so much So overall, I think I've had a really pleasant second experience at Zazi, which is again, a French bistro. Yeah, I'm definitely going to say that being a little skeptical in the beginning, I really enjoyed the customer service. Everyone was very jovial and happy. But also the food is very tasty and very heavily seasoned, but not overly seasoned. Uh, I would have to say that in terms of taste, I would have to give it a 5 out of 5. In terms of cost, probably a 3 out of 5. Uh, it was a little bit more on the expensive side, but that makes sense it's because... It's a French beast. No, I think, I think <laughs> it makes sense because they're trying to give their workers a living wage as well as like all of the proper benefits. So overall, positive experience. See, I think Danny didn't want to go initially and um, he really liked all the food, even though he was kind of like, ugh, uh, brunch food. But um, I again had another version of Eggs Benedict, as y'all have seen, and I really liked it. I thought the seasoning, like Danny said, I, I agree, the tomato was really good. Um, and the coffee was really good. The service was excellent. I, the only thing I have to kind of ding them on a little bit is the ambience. So last time I sat by the patio and it was like sunlit and beautiful. This time I sat on the inside, which is cramped a little bit. Um, so funny story, I accidentally knocked over a jug with my purse um, onto another patron, uh, so it spilled on her. But um, overall, I think everything would have to be either a 4 or a 4.5. The ambience, though, I think it's like a 2 from the inside because it's not even sunshine and beautiful and it's a little cramped. Oh, by the way, the waiter also knocked over a knife and it fell on our table, so it wasn't just me. And is trying things. to justify okay. her own problems with hand-eye coordination. But see y'all next time. Bye, and give this beautiful little cozy bistro a try.